My name is Brianna Sierra. I am a sophomore here at the University of Arkansas. This oil painting is on view at Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art. The museum is located in Bentonville, Arkansas. The name of this painting is Lunar Rendezvous Circle of Flowers. The artist is Alma Thomas. Alma Thomas was born in Columbus, Georgia in 1891. She experienced racism in her hometown. As a result, her family moved to the northern city of Washington, D.C. From a young age, she aspired to be an architect. She went to school at Howard University and was the first fine arts graduate. She later became an art teacher in D.C. On the side, she also painted. Once she retired from teaching, she was able to pursue her painting career full-time. Her primary medium is painting. Her style began as realistic and transitioned to more abstract. Her paintings have even been on display at the White House. She also had a solo exhibition at the New York Whitney Museum. She was the first African American to accomplish this. The Lunar Rendezvous Circle of Flowers is 50 by 48 inches. Thomas painted this piece in 1969. It is an oil painting on a canvas. This painting represents Thomas' style very accurately. Thomas has other works that resemble this one quite closely, such as Splash John Apollo 13, which uses acrylic paint also. Another example is Resurrection, which uses acrylic paint and graphite. This painting was actually on display at the White House. The style of this painting is abstract. Abstract art does not represent an element of the natural world. The painting is non-figurative. Thomas uses many bright and vibrant hues. She uses primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. These colors are, are intense or saturated. Thomas uses these types of colors to create excitement and also to create a theme of happiness. She uses a variety of shapes to create one larger shape. This creates more interest and adds texture. There is balance in this painting because of the symmetry she has created by creating a circle. Thomas uses a variety of lines to create the different shapes that make up the larger circle. She uses both curved lines and irregular lines. It almost makes the shapes look like rocks or stones. This painting does not have any depth, but it does have texture. She uses the irregular shapes to create a ge geometric or regular shape, a circle. Thomas also varies the thickness of the inner circles. This also creates a more naturalistic look. The irregularities of the edges create an unsmooth texture on the circle. It makes the painting look rough like rocks. The slight imperfections overall make the painting more natural. Another method to analyze Thomas's piece is the biographical approach. This relates the artist's life and past to what can be physically seen in their artwork. Thomas faced unfair treatment because of the color of her skin. Her inclusive use of multiple colors in the painting conveys that she recognizes that they're all different people, but they can all come together and create something beautiful. This use of all colors shows that Thomas believes in people of all skin tones being treated equally. Her struggles with discrimination are expressed through her art. She wants people of any shape, size, or color to be treated equally. This painting is influenced by the abstraction era, which took place from the 1930s to the early 60s. It began with abstract expressionism. The focus was depicting powerful emotional ideas through abstract elements. This abstract style is not only seen in Lunar Rendezvous Circle of Flowers, but also in much of her work. Her message against discrimination is very emotional and personal to her. In the abstraction movement, there were many artists, the work that influenced Thomas. The Gate by Hans Hoffmann uses bright, vibrant colors like Thomas. The medium is oil on canvas. Spectrum 3 by Ellsworth Kelly has large, bright color blocks. Like Thomas's piece, there is repeating pattern of the warm tones. The boldness combined with the simplicity of their work creates similarity between them. Andy Warhol's work was a prime example of pop art. His painting, Campbell's Soup Cans, excites the eye by using repetition. Thomas's piece uses repetition as well. These artists share many stylistic similarities to Thomas. I chose this piece because I find it visually appealing. I think the pattern and circular shape is calming. This painting sends positive vibes. I think her story is really expressed in this painting. I like how it symbolizes harmony and unity. It is human nature to want to be included and feel accepted. I think these feelings are conveyed in this piece, and so I find it very relatable. Not everyone may have experienced racial discrimination, but have felt not included. It is not just a matter of being included, but being respected. This painting represents a society where there is equality and harmony. The message she has conveyed is of great value.